right, man. Let's talk about a guy that was kind of a Detroit Piston hopeful. And um, Brandon Miller. All right. Um, your article saying that the Pistons did land a number two pick in the draft, that Scoot Henderson was not set in stone as the number two pick, therefore, because they have three young guards and Hayes, Ivy, and Cunningham. Okay. Um, but apparently, you know, Brandon Miller, I think he might be exactly what the doctors order for the Detroit Pistons, okay? 6'9", um, you know, guard, I mean forward, that can shoot it, um, that can get his own shot, who would look to be an efficient scorer, has some uh, Kevin Durant type of uh, comparisons. I seen through college basketball, um, so apparently he got into he got into the situation with the two Alabama players, the one who had the situation with somebody getting deceased. All right, over a female that uh, what I heard allegedly a female who did not want to conversate with him, uh, and you know apparently. Uh, you know, apparently they, uh, some things happen and, you know, now he facing the capital murder charge. Okay. One of the players now, another team made an Alabama basketball team was, uh, I guess an accessory to that. He was there. Now, apparently, um, Brandon Miller has been cooperating because there, he been connected to this whole case. Okay. Apparently they was in his car before all this happened. And one of the teammates asked him to bring his weapon, to bring his gun, right? Now, apparently the head coach came out today and said that he'd been fully cooperating. They were aware of his involvement. And right now they saying he's 100% clear of any charges. He's fully cooperating. So I'm pretty sure if the, if the gun, obviously I don't even think they 21. I don't know the legal age you can own a gun uh, down in Alabama, even though I used to stay there. But if the gun was linked to him and, you know, then he in trouble. Now he can say, well, I gave him the gun. I didn't know what he was going to do with it. Now he can say he stole the gun. I don't know what, what the procedure was, but it's not a good look. Remember Leyland Collins had an open case before the draft and they dropped him for like a first round pick all the way to being undrafted and ain't nothing come out of the case. So, um, and ain't nothing come out of the case. So it ain't a good look, but obviously they got plenty of time between now in the draft process for him to be clear. I think he's still playing. So obviously he must not be a prime suspect of a prime a primary suspect. And what people gotta understand, just because you ain't pulled the trigger don't mean they won't charge you with, with murder. See that's why it's very important that's why it's very important to choose who you hang around with in the crowd you're around with because you can put your whole future in jeopardy. Not just because you're a hoop star or, you know, you just you could be somebody that's just a nine to five guy that want to be a family man. Hanging around the wrong people will put you in a bad predicament. You know, I, and I heard stories about, you know, people brawling people cars and and, and doing stuff in their car and then the guy get back in their car and they get in trouble with some other people, you know, cause somebody did something in their car. I mean, it's, you know, it's, you know, this kid future in jeopardy. It is, it is. And then the type of people that, you know, that's out here today, you know, my man's probably like, you know, my man, they probably saying, we, we can, we, we promise you we'll get life with parole or we'll give you 20 if you give up your mans, you know, 
And this is why, man, I'm telling you, man, this this is this is why and then obviously if they teenagers, the gun is probably it's, it's probably gonna be hard to match the gun to him. Cause if he was smart, he would have wiped that gun clean with a glove on, which ain't a lot of people smart. He'd have wiped that gu glove clean and um and gave it to him. You know. And people say, why people at universities need guns? That's a great question. Some universities, but I've never been to the University of Alabama, Tuscaloosa, is in the middle of the hood. You know? So, you know, I stay in Montgomery, Alabama, and, you know, they used to rob students all the time. You know, it, it was a very, very, uh, it was a very, very, uh, dangerous part of town. Now, if you go on the other side of Montgomery, man, it was like, it was night and day. It was, you know, upscale, you know, rich people, clean, not a piece of trash. So, you, you know, you gotta kind of understand where you at, but, I mean, when you young, man, I can't say I didn't have my near misses and I had to learn from my lessons. Some people don't get a second opportunity. So, uh, hopefully, you know, you can't really pick who your teammates is, but you pick who you hang around with. And quite frankly, this is going to affect his draft stock. Like it or not, this could, this is going to affect it. But, you know, thank God it's before the tournament. I think they're the number one team in the country. Um, so, you know, he, he said his head coach said he's fully cooperating with, with, with the investigation. So, I mean, it's a text message to them asking him to give him, you know, bring your peace. And my thing, you you would think that they have some real static, but it's, you know, I, I mean, it's hard to, I mean, teenage boys shouldn't have to be worried about being in a serious relationship with girls. You got to understand, historically, I don't know the uh, entire situation, but historically, that woman that you with, when you 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, especially with as many options that people got today, that's not who you're going to end up with in 10, 5, maybe 3 years, maybe 6 months. Now, we don't know. Old girl could have, you know, did something that was unforgivable. I don't I don't know, but um, and you women got to be careful, too. You got to be careful. You got to get to know these dudes. You let these dudes around your kids, let them around your house, you know. Y'all should always rendezvous somewhere else. Don't go to his house. You know, you need to build up some, some you know, and, and don't ignore the signs, but but for him to get caught up in this, he potentially could be the number two pick in the draft. It ain't a good look. You know, and maybe, and I just see situations where people want to go get the gun and scare some people. You know what I'm saying? I'm just scare him. I'm like, nah, bro. A scare could turn into a tussle. A tussle could turn and get somebody getting shot. All our futures in, you know, up in the air and in. You go, you go to higher, you go to higher learning, to to better yourself. They play in college basketball to get an education, and to better themselves. You know, but now you know his his career in jeopardy. Like it or not, even when that case that case is closed, or they about to close it, how can you trust your teammate not to throw you under the bus to get his time cut and say, well, I'm taking everybody down with me? You like, damn dog really like that you know i you know you listen to rap something meek mill had a song where on the championship album he said he hoping this boy you know who got 20 so i hope he don't he's still hoping that he don't tell you know he said he's still hoping he's still hoping that his homeboy don't tell on him you know and and that and that's wild you know, and that's why that's one of the reasons why I left that street shit. I ain't really fuck with that street shit, dog. That's one of the major major reasons why, because one, you can't trust nobody. You it's too much trust to be in the streets, bro. And then when you talk about trust, um when you talking about trust, you know, it's like you know, it's like, then, if I can't trust you, then I got to whack you. Then you talking about too much killing. So, I, 
like I said before. I mean, it is what it is, man. You just hope that, uh, you just hope that he ain't, he ain't nothing to do with none of that, bro. He go on in NBA and, you know, use this as, as a reason to fly straight, bro. So, you know, so, and that's a black eye on that program, too. That's a, that's, that's a football school. And wish that head coach and got there and turned them to the number one program in, in college basketball right now. The number one team in basketball. Bruce Pearl did something similar at Harbor. So, you know, it's gonna be a, a this is gonna be a, a a teaching experience. This is gonna be a teaching experience for for them. Trust me, this is gonna be a teaching experience for them. Mark my words. You know, if you if you need a gun to go to the go to the university, and not chances is you need the kind of probably like uh you need to uh you need to switch universities. Trust me, you need to switch universities. So you know, you just hope that they figure you know he he good and you know. And, and, and use it and use it as, as an experience. You know that's that's all. That's all you can hope for. Damn, I don't know how this go right here. She just sitting. But I mean, that is what it is, man. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up. Dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Let me know what you girls and guys think. My moderator hat is just what I had on. and I like wearing hats. So I got almost every team hat in my closet. So I don't know if you see you got a red hat. So let's. It's matching today, and it's a nice hat, but peace.